Yo, what's up? A sexy Sam Let us go today. We're here doing a ranked 1v1. Try Hard Thursday, everybody's favorite day of the week. Let's get um, it over with. Let's be try hard. Mm, let's see. Cupid? What are you staring at? I think Cupid is super OP. Sleeper OP, even. When's the last time I played Cupid? Like three try hard Thursdays ago? Tooth try hard Thursdays ago? Hmm. Oh, Medusa. Medusa. I haven't played Medusa in forever, and she's sleeper OP. I Anubis. I actually was gonna pick Anubis. It was gonna be an Anubis mirror match, but I think this isn't that bad. I can burst him down pretty hard. And if I go... Um... If I go Cursed Ankh, I have 100% anti-heal. Right out the gate with my 3, which he probably wouldn't expect. But he also doesn't have that much in, or healing right out the gate. So I don't think I need to do that. I think just going Bees is probably safer. But I will pick up my 3 for sure. Because that 50% anti-heal could come in hugely handy if he... Um... I'm invading him, by the way. If he decides to go up to the wave and clear it with his one, this dog and then I can 3-1 him, and he'll pretty much be dead because he doesn't have a lot of base HP. Unless he starts with Warrior's Blessing, which I've seen more and more Anubises do. Anubai. <laughs> I've seen more of them do it. He's not here. Which makes me think he's starting... Speed buff? Why did he start speed buff? He expected the invade. That's really weird. I don't think I've ever seen an Anubis expect an invade. Oh uh, yeah, he's playing it safer. Not coming up to one the whole wave. Just three the back line, one the front line. I respect the safe play. Do I do I do? He has level 4 now. He's doing his Buffaruskis. Alright, nice. We got it. That's very good. He doesn't have his wrap up, so I'm kind of safe to just do shit like this right now. He has his wrap up now, probably. I just don't want to get caught in that. Wrap at level 4 in two archers would hurt quite a bit. That sucks a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. Mm. Missed the one autos. It's okay. All right, we got that blue buff as well. He's pretty low HP. All right. Nice. Uh, he was low HP, so I kind of figured if I went for the alt, then I might be able to... Um, if I went for the ult, I might be able to get the kill because the ult is going to slow him and then I will be able to secure the two based off him being next to the minion wave. And that's pretty much exactly what happened. I ulted him, he got slowed, I toed the minion wave um, to the point where it hit him as well. And um, then I beezed his rap and that was it. I do have to be a little bit scared here because I don't have beads and he does still have ult and he has Bancrofts now so if he does land a, uh, a wrap on me I'm pretty much screwed. Yeah he was just waiting trying to get that wrap. Without his one he can't kill me. I think just a wrap ult won't kill me so while his one is down I can <clears throat> take advantage move around. Alright, I have my ult back up. I popped my pots because I expect him to fight here. Exactly. I mean... Ooh, 
Alright. I popped my pots because I expected a fight and a fight broke out. I knew he was going to run that way, so instead of turning to look, I just kind of kept running. And um, because I kept running, he didn't anticipate, he expected me to look. But because I kept running, I was able to juke his wrap. Because he wasn't fast enough to catch up, because I have full boots. And... Resulted in the second kill of the game. Get this going. Um, worth mentioning, by the way, I recorded another TFT game today. Um, <clears throat> for those of you guys who... Sorry, he placed his three and I had to move the buff and it took all of my brain power. Um, for those of you guys who like strategy games, it's a really, really fun game to play. It's a, like, uh, it's a technically an auto battler, like auto chess strategy game. I made the video and there's another video on my channel, TFT, uh, about a week ago at this point, I think. And, um... There, there was a lot of dislikes on it, but I think most of the dislikes were from people because they didn't understand what was going on. And I didn't explain it at all. Uh, but in today's video, I did explain everything I did. And I explained my team comp, I explained the basics of the game, I, I did it all. So, um, please check that out if it is something that you're interested in. And um, make sure to leave a like to help me... Kind of spread my wings a little bit, you know? Alright, he's going into full lifesteal build. Which means, absolutely, my next two items are Pestilence Toxic Blade. Technically, I only really need Toxic Blade. So I could still go Genji's or, Bul or Bulwark. Damn, I suck. But technically, I only need toxic blade because my three is 50 percent anti-heal but i can't always confirm my three you know my boy gets a lot of healing i messed that fight up something fierce so i'm not that mad about it i don't ever expect to win a fight where i mess up like that i think i will go bulwark actually oh he's still chasing me that's weird. Okay. Why is he still chasing? There's nothing up. Maybe he thinks my stuff is coming up? I mean, my speed buff is up and he is going there. Oh, wow. My speed buff was up. He ran there and then didn't pick it up. Or, and then didn't do it because he thought that I was circling around to get his buff. So instead of getting mine, he played the defensive game and went for his own. That's kind of bad, dude. He played aggressive that entire time. You stay aggressive. Stick to your guns, brother. Um, I think I will go Bulwark here instead of Pestilence. The reason I would want Pestilence is because the anti-heal is big, but I think with Toxic Blade and my 3, even if I don't get my 3, I feel like 40% should be enough. And if it's not, I can always go Beat Stick later, so... Okay. Damn. Alright. I wasn't able to get the kill. It took both of my relics. Um, I was very close to the kill there. Kind of sucks that I wasn't able to get it. But we got a lot of tower damage on it. So, I'll take it. It's alright. I can get my Bulwark here. Which will help quite a bit. 
And yeah, I mean, as much as it sucks that we didn't get the kill and I used both my relics, I am still two levels ahead. And uh, I got a lot of tower damage there, so it does take some pressure onto him to like, ah, don't fuck up or you lose your tower. And then once you lose your tower, both demons open, so. So yeah, it definitely puts pressure onto him, which is good for me. Is this up? Nope. Hmm. He's going to get his breastplate right now. He has blue buff on him, so that's not up. Let's see. He got sprint. I don't know if I agree with that play. Oh, I'm dead. Wait, no, I'm not, because he didn't use his three. He just rap ulted instead of placing three down first. If he threed first, I was 100% dead. His blue just spawned. He got all his healing back off of it. Might be able to take tower here. I don't know how much healing he got off that. It's probably a shit done though. Yeah, he's full of fucking health. Okay. Unfortunate, but whatever. I got a back. Did he back or? No, okay, he's backing. Red buff just spawned. It kind of sucks. Kind of unlucky timing for me, but. You know, <clears throat> you're not always going to get lucky in this game. Oh, my Bolar crocked. That really fucking sucks. I think I actually sell this for a full Toxic Blade here, believe it or not. I know selling your starting item really early like that is kind of a no-no, but... But I don't know, I, I'm getting spam called by someone. Holy shit. It's annoying. I'm still ahead. I do have the Toxic Blade now, so we can probably fight. I want this minion wave gone before I fight because I don't want him to be able to lifesteal. Okay. Not really a lot of damage there. He wrapped 3 1 and it did like 300 damage, so. I think his blue buff is up actually. It's not up yet. It will be soon though. Let's check his speed buff. Nope. Oh god. Actually not bad. Oh god, I suck. Miss dash and dash straight into tower. He's so fast. Ah, he kills me here too. Let me recover. Got 
God damn. <clears throat> that lifesteal is a real fucking issue. Damn, he got ult up again? That fast? That's crazy. I lose tower here. That much healing should not be allowed. Um, what's my item I want? Movement speed is really good and attack speed is really good. So I think I want to go out Atalanta's. It's both of them. But no, I want Xe actually. I need pen. He doesn't get Phoenix, right? What is he doing? Just go do Bull Demon. He's not gonna go do Bull Demon either. He's just gonna do my blue and back, I think. An Aussie would actually be kind of huge here. His lifesteal is crazy. enough uh, for me. I'm back in here. I'm gonna go get my Aussie. He has no anti-heal. <clears throat> He's got so much healing though. I I think I might actually need beat stick. He has lifesteal boots, typhons, and bancrofts, and he's going another lifesteal item. So I'm I think I'm gonna go beat stick last item. That scared me. Okay. You normally only do that when you have a kill opportunity lined up or something, but you don't. So I don't know if that was the play. I guess he just wants a red buff. Shit. Very not good. Oh, man, when I miss my dash, I have to just run. Like, there's there's no save I can do. Oh, that's bad. Hmm. This is blew up. Full health again. Going that way. All right. Damn, dude. He's so... tanky. With all that lifesteal. I don't think that I can even do Bull Demon, honestly. I don't think I have the power to. <clears throat> I dropped blue, I don't actually want to pick it up. I want speed buff.
I think he's just gonna chase me. The red buff's all yours, big guy. I don't care. I do have beat stick now, which is really good. But I don't know, man, because all of these fights I have been landing my three. Maybe I just go a second defensive item because he has no pen. I think that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> I'm going Pestilence instead of Beat Stick because I have been landing my three during these fights. If he gets my Phoenix, I'm going to have to change build, obviously, because I can't fucking clear it all, but... We'll come to that bridge if we ever have to. Alright, so right there, like... We got his ult and took no damage. Because he missed wrap. That time he definitely did not miss wrap. We killed him. We killed him. Does that net me a phoenix? I believe it should. It will not net me anything more than a phoenix because I do no damage, but I do believe that Pestilence was the right build choice for sure here. Instead of Beat Stick. It was a tough first game, dude. Let's get his speed buff down for him. I actually still have my uh, <clears throat> my beads up, so I'm not that scared of a fight. He doesn't have any pen. I don't know if he need knows he needs it. All this life steal is so bad for him. I don't think he understands it though. I have over a hundred percent anti heal on him. Oh, but am I still dead here? Holy shit. Alright, my Aussie helped me heal a lot there. Alright, he's actually just as scared of me right now. Without ult. If he had ult, it would be a different story. Oh, fuck. Alright, it's a different story now because I missed dash. It's a really different story. Holy shit, he just pressed 1 on the wave and healed the full health. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. I sell boots by the 1500 pot and then by XE, I think. That's the play. I don't lose any kind of attack speed or movement speed, obviously, because of the speed pot. And I get some pen. Good play, I think. He gets a red buff again, which scares the fuck out of me, but what are you going to do? Um, if I don't have beads, I think I should wait on the fight. In fact, I think I should wait so much that I'm going to go do Bull Demon and then just re-get Phoenix using Bull Demon. I almost never do this, but I think it's the play right now. He's not going to come to Bull Demon, by the way. He's too busy over there. Alright, with Bull Demon, I think I'm gonna go for a fight. I need... In order to win the fight, though, I have to alt his wrap. If I don't alt his wrap, then I'll lose the fight, I think. Unless I can wait for beads up, but that's 20 seconds. And it's kind of a time-sensitive thing when you have a Bull Demon, you know? Oh, 
Alright. He's just gonna let me have Phoenix. <clears throat> Not something I expected, but maybe he thinks I beat up. I do now. Man, that XC came in handy. Holy shit, that thing frags. I got everything he has. He also got everything I have. Hmm. <clears throat> that upgraded shell really helped him a lot there. If I can get red away from him, that would be huge. He's backing right now. Okay, yeah, I can get red away from him then. I really want to know why he hasn't built any pen yet, though. He has 10% pen, but that's all. He's selling boots now. Red buff kind of huge. I wonder if I ever sell Aussie. I don't know how much it's doing when he has a Divine Ruin. He doesn't have that much HP. I think I just go for, like, Owen here. It's really hard, because if he wraps me, I lose. I don't lose the game, but I, I lose the fight. Alright. <clears throat> he has to alt wave here. Alright. I don't know why he would do that. I have 105% anti-heal. <clears throat> um, no, I have 115% anti-heal, actually, when I dash him. And he was really relying on his anti or on his lifesteal there for that fight. Actually, we're able to win the game. Damn, dude, that first game was tough. Thirty minutes in, man. The Anubis played well. Played well. Thank you, bro. I got fifty gems for that. First one of the day, fifty gems. I'll take it. <clears throat> All right. Oof, second game coming in. Holy shit. Obviously, we play Clicker Heroes in Q. I'm not editing it out. Uh... <clears throat> what level do I get? get this? 185,000. I'm at 160,000 right now. I'm on stage 210,000? That's a new high. This guy has 14,000. Um, by the way, if anyone <clears throat> um, is over, Undo, I actually have to kick you out. I'm only accepting people that are 10k or over, and once I get to 300k, I'm only going to accept people who are 20k and over. So Fatal Death, Pale, uh, Draco, and Siren, y'all gotta y'all gotta kick your game up, brother. That's all I'm saying. Y'all gotta get to that 20k mark because I'm I'm fast approaching 30k. I have to transcend again, judging by my, my calculator here. My max zone is going to be about 25, 258,000 for this transcension. But, uh, so you got a little bit of time before I hit the 300k mark, but I'm, I'm, I'm coming quick, boys. All right. Let's see what I got here. Transcend for 394 hero souls. No thanks. 88. Oh, this is epic. This is a level 15. Nice. I didn't know that I had some I had some good ones. Level 11. Alright. Second game. Oh my god. If it's anything like the first game, this might be the only other game in this video because we're 30 minutes in already. That's a wacky, man. That's wacky. Normally on these tryhard Thursdays, I don't actually have super tryhard games. It's just me going try hard and like smacking the other guy. That was a really good game.
He actually played the Anubis game well. He abused his lifesteal really well, which is what you do with Anubis. So, very good. Very, very good. And this guy is higher MMR than me again, which means it might be him, because I, I believe last guy had higher MMR as well. That's, I think I was on KS side. So, we'll see. We'll see what we got. <clears throat> any day now. You can ban literally any day. You got about eight seconds to ban. Anything. Literally anything. AMC, I'll take it. What's happening? What's happening? Man, this guy really has to think hard about his bans. Alright, he missed that ban. <clears throat> I wonder if he's just like purposely passing bans. No, it doesn't seem like he is. He banned Persephone. I guess if you're against Paul recently, then that's, you know, that's stuck with you. Been there. <laughs> so, you know, I, I can respect, I can put some respect on it. I ban Hell. Do I ban Hell or Kamazots? I hate fighting into Hell and I hate fighting into Kamazots. Uh, I think I hate fighting into Kamazots more than I hate fighting into Hell. At least hell, you can build anti-heal. Kamazaz just kills you. You can play Pele this game if he doesn't ban her. Wait, bans are over. Okay. Um, I could play Pele. Not a bad pickup. I could play Odin into Pele. I actually think Odin has a pretty decent matchup into Pele. Because you can, uh, you're not up immune when you channel the three, and you can hold the three forever. So, um, <clears throat> could also play Hera. She's pretty good. Haven't played her in a while. But on her is open. Hades is open. Cupid is open. I think I might go for Pele because she is OP. I've been waiting for you. Poseidon, how is this matchup? I think Pele wins this matchup, right? I don't know, because Poseidon's good at running. Poseidon is good at running and then good at Krakening as well. It is the same guy. This guy's really good at uh, abusing the lifesteal, so we'll see how this goes. I expect this game to be difficult. I expect this game to be tough, so keep that in mind. I think actually at level 3, you're supposed to put 2 points into your 1 and none into your 2. We're faster clear, but I'm not going to do that. He clears very fast, and I'm assuming, based off last game, last game, even as Anubis, he started at a speed buff because he assumed I was going to invade. I think he assumes I'm going to invade again, so he's probably going to start at a speed buff, and I'm not. I'm just going to go straight for my blue. We'll see what happens. He could be invading, actually. Uh, my buff is done. The It's taking him so long to clear the buff, it definitely was blue. Oh, it was speed, actually. Whoa. Okay. That's not good for him, dude. Not that it matters too much, I suppose, but... Alright. We got the level 4. I get the level 4. No big deal, no big deal, we're just chilling. That does a lot of damage. I want to blink for my second relic, I think. Wow. Okay, uh, first blood down, boys. We got him. Pele does a lot of damage. He wasn't expecting it. He had he held Bracer because I don't think he was expecting the amount of damage I was doing. I think he wants his blue buff here, so I'm gonna obviously not let him have it. Alright. Cool. We got level 5. I'm okay with it. He doesn't really scare me, so... Huh. 
How much is Soul Eater? Can I afford it? Nope, not yet. Um, I could probably kill him, honestly. My boy just cracking the red buff and then didn't even pick it up. I know all and I see all. Alright. <clears throat> We're doing pretty good, man. We got the Soul Eater finished. And now we gotta start stacking it. I don't agree with his Bancroft's pickup here because he is definitely going into the lifesteal build. Just based solely off last game, and the fact that Poseidon is also good with lifesteal, so... I'm definitely building Beat Stick Toxic Blade this game. Or like Pestilence Toxic Blade. Either way, I'm building Anti-Heal this game. He's just running away, I don't, I don't think he'll try to fight. Speed buff is up. His speed buff is up. I could go invade it, but I think I'll wait it out. I'm not going to use my one to clear this because I want to fight him here. So I want my one to be able to uh, to double cast during the fight here. Yeah. Without the, if I didn't hold my one on the blue buff and be able to double cast him there, I definitely would have lost that fight. I wouldn't have lost the fight, but I would have not gotten the kill. Alright, let's get this blue buff now. I think I go Talaria Boots here. I need to be fast in this game. I really thought I might be able to get that kill. I didn't Aegis his Kraken because I wanted my passive to go off and I thought I could win the fight with passive. And I definitely could have. It was just the fact that he was faster than me because he had tier 2 Boots. And I hadn't backed yet for Boots. So it was a little bit of like a miscalculation on my part. Assuming I could... I could catch up to him, but not, definitely not being able to. I have alt up again, which means if he does do some stupid shit, I can kill him. That does qualify as stupid shit. Yeah, that definitely qualified as stupid shit. So he lost the red buff and a full minion wave off that. Very good for me. And now we go pestilence. I am not sure I will even be able to use this. Damn, I took probably like eight hundred damage from tower there and still killed him. I'm honestly surprised that Whirlpool was not a Kraken. I'm surprised that Kraken was a Kraken. I guess he thought he was going to die. It makes sense if you think you're going to die, you Kraken, right? But I don't think he would have died. I do have alt up. Ow, 
that's not good. Well, that goes through walls, huh? Who would have thought? Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely outplaying him right now, for sure. He might have Kraken up soon though, but he doesn't have any cooldown, so I doubt it. The healing for my one is kind of nuts with Soul Eater. I'm going to get red buff here. I think I will pick it up. I think red buff, I don't know. I was going to say, I think red buff is still more important than speed buff here, but I don't know if it is. I'm going to pick it up because I'm not sure. And I feel like I can still keep up with him pretty well right now. But to be honest, I'm not sure. He is 100% going to crack in his blue buff, so I'm going to try to blow it up. Used everything I had on that really quick because I needed to blow it up. Okay, sick. I'm backing. I'm gonna get Pestilence. Actually, gonna get Bulwark in the Toxic Blade. Alright, we're doing good with our farm game, but it's a little bit tough on everything else because I messed up that one fight. So I'm not as far ahead as I would like to be right now. Because <clears throat> if it gets to hyper late game, I don't even know if Pele wins this. And I'm definitely a late game player, so... I knew if I just got one auto off on him that... That he would assume that I was all in him. It kinda sucks that he fucking stole that, but whatever. He's so fast, man. I don't know, I thought you leveled the three, but it seems like you definitely do not level the three. He's got like no fucking mana, dude. Okay. Damn, he actually cleared wave with just three. I don't think that would happen. Alright, so he's very fast. Toxic Blade will help a lot because he is going that full lifesteal build again like I assumed he would. Damn, he actually did my blue. I'll never be able to kill him here, I don't think. Actually, maybe not true. Okay. I don't know why he thought he would win that fight. I really don't. But you know what? If it makes him lose some minions, I'll take it. 
actually, not only does he lose minions, I think he loses a tower. Nice. Okay. So let's get our Toxic Blade online. And I'm definitely going Beat Stick as well at this game. I'm not going to go... Actually, do I go double defense again? Do I do the exact same build I just did against him last game? It worked. I mean, he doesn't build pen. All he does is go lifesteal mages with... Um, well, just lifesteal mages in general. So, do I just not let him? Do I just, like, get a bunch of defense because he doesn't have any pen? He doesn't have Kraken, so I might be able to kill him if he goes, like, over there. He checks up on Bull Demon. Oh my god, I'm so garbage. I'm actually trash, holy shit. I missed, like, six autos. I lose Phoenix for that too. I think. Okay, I don't know where he went. I should lose Phoenix for that, but he's like AFK. Where is he? What the fuck? Is he doing Bull Demon? Where the hell did he go? What? He did Bull Demon? Really? Why? I guess he did it so I couldn't do it, which isn't a bad play. Not good, this is not good. Okay. Um with all the anti heal I have and the fact that he has none, uh, I was able to win that fight. It's pretty much like the only thing. I definitely should have lost that fight, but the fact that he has no anti-heal and I have Soul Eater and I have Pele passive, I uh, I heal a lot. A lot more than he thinks at least. I might be able to get Phoenix because I do have so much attack speed. Yeah, I'm gonna get Phoenix here. I mean, if he wants to fight, dude, I'm chilling. Alright. 
We killed him again. He's dead 30 seconds and I got fire minions. That definitely should be game. Um... Oof. This guy's a pretty good player. I mean, the thing is, even though he's, like, mechanically, he plays pretty well. He's good at juking. He's, you know, good at picking the good gods of the game. He's good at farming. The problem is you do the same build every game. And when you do the same build every game, because it's, you know, quote-unquote the meta, right? When you do the same thing every game, um, someone finds out a counter to it. And in this case, the counter was double defense with pestilence and bulwark and going full on anti heal and because that's literally the way to beat his build he cannot beat me unless he's super super far ahead and i can't get my build online um it's a little bit shitty i guess in the sense that i'm able to just kind of counter him by building but i mean hey when you build the same things you lose the same way unfortunately um, but that was a pretty good Try Hard Thursday video, man. 52 minutes, two pretty good games against a pretty good player. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.